Hey guys, before this video begins, I just want to let you know about XSplit Broadcaster, which is this awesome set of tools that you can use to either stream, uh, you know, live stream games, or just simply record videos. You can record not only, you know, simple things like uh, your screen and your webcam, but also things like adding text to your video w before you edit it, or, you know, showing a web page, you can add videos from your computer that play at the same time and then there's a library with tons of other sources and other widgets that you can add to your stream or video i use it for youtube uh, live streaming and for recording videos pretty often until october 1st if you use the link in the description of this video you can get xsplit and i can make a little bit of money on the side from you doing that so definitely check this out use my link that I only make money if you actually purchase the full version but if you use the free version you are definitely not limited in what you can do there are just a few extra features that you won't be able to use but by no means is that gonna you know prevent you from making good quality videos I'm using the free version <laughs> Xsplit is really a good deal um, <coughs> you should definitely check it out uh, yeah, so now let's start the video. Hello guys, welcome to a video. So today, uh, I am resuming a series called City Review, where I discuss tweaks that you can find with Jailbreak. Today I'm going to be talking about a tweak called A Font. It's a tweak that lets you download your font, or any font of your choice, and use it on your iPhone. It comes pre with some fonts already installed. Why would you want to download a font when there's already a well-established tweak out there called Bytefont, which is very popular? The problem with Bytefont is it's not compatible with the latest version of iOS, iOS 12.4. The jailbreak for 12.4 was released a few days ago. They're probably going to make another update 12.4.1, I'm calling it right now, <laughs> they're probably going to make that update repatching this exploit that they accidentally unpatched in 12.4. Like, they patched it, and then they unpatched it. Beats me why they did that, but, you know, somebody's getting fired. Bytefont is not compatible with iOS 12.4. It just crashes as soon as you try to open it. So... To install a font, you're going to want two sources. Number one, you need repo.rpgfarm.com, which is this one, bar repo. And then you also need rp3.ch slash repo, which a font requires in order to install. So, a font is right here in tweaks. Uh, you can, you know, install it how you normally would, you, you respring after. You get to pick your font, and you get to pick what font is the bold version of that font. So, you do need to pick both of these. One of the big advantages of a font versus beta font is the fact that you can actually get any font that you can find online and find a download for. In, whereas, on beta font, you could only install fonts as tweaks. You couldn't actually, you know, find a TTF and add them to Byte font. You actually have to install a tweak, which means it has to be made as a tweak, and it's only compatible with certain iOS versions. You do need to be wary because some of these fonts don't actually have a bold variant. One that I know of is DIN alternate and DIN condensed. If you pick those and then DIN alternate bold, let's say I want to open this notes with this new font. This is supposed to be bold and this is supposed to be italic, but it all looks the same because there is no bold or italic variant of that font. 
So now if I were to change it back to what it was, Quantico, you can actually see the differences. So you do need to find a font that actually has a bold and italic variant, or you could just deal with it the way it is, which I don't recommend just because, you know, if someone wants to emphasize something, you won't know because you won't be able to see the emphasis. It all looks the same. All right. So I found my font that I'm going to be using as an example. It's called Lado. And let's say you want to, you know, use this on your phone. First of all, you need to have Filza installed or some file editor of your choice. All you have to do is hit download. And then there's going to be an open in Filza button. Now, this is specific to Filza. I don't know about other file editors. They might have different ways of, uh, of handling downloads, but I know this is how Filza does it. You hit open in Filza, and it's going to install it to this doc or this documents folder. So if you just tap lado.zip, it'll extract it, and now you have this folder. That is a lot of fonts. Okay, so <laughs> so what you have to do now to actually set it up so you can use it with a font is hit edit, just pretty much select all the TTF files or OTF, I think is the other file type that it could be. Select all of those files. You don't need to select the any text files that come with it or anything else. Copy. Then what you need to do is go back into your root folder it's library yeah so in your root folder go to library and a font which is it should be the first folder listed if you're going by name so a font and then just paste those in that's a lot of fonts a lot of files <laughs> so now what you need to do is make sure your settings is cleared so that when you go back into it there's that font is now going to be listed there. See, there's Lado. And then you select the bold font. Um, let's find it, Lado Bold. Now you can see this. In general, I think a font is a really good tweak, and I don't think I'm ever going to go back to Vita font, even if it, they come out with, you know, uh, a release for 12.4 just because a font is working so well for me i really like this font for my phone it's the numbers are a little weird but overall i, I like it it's called quantico if you want it i guess i'll leave a disc uh, link in the description to download it from you know whatever font provider you want <laughs> um but yeah i'll also leave the repos in the description for to install a font and yeah that's about it so yeah thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed please like do subscribe if you've not done so already and goodbye